Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hadiza and this is Africa Living with Hadiza. Today I put on makeup for you guys. Tell me I look cute. Tell me I look cute. Tell me I look cute. I know it's giving. <laughs> so welcome back to my channel. The month of August has just been woo, it's been all over the place. I've not I don't think I've posted anything this month. And truthfully, I've just been so low on inspiration. I mean, this YouTube journey is not an easy one. And most times you just get like hung up on, you know, maybe your channel is not growing as you thought it would. No content ideas, no inspiration, and you're just there. So literally, since the last video I posted, which I think is over a month ago now, I've just been there. Zero inspiration with zero desire to actually even do much but you know last night before i slept i was having some inspiration um thinking about you know some things in my life and i decided that okay let me just turn on my camera this morning and just you know record something that i think is a little chit chat that i call 10 minutes for the next 10 years of your life because i feel it would inspire you it would help you and i hope you watch it till the end of the video so what was I thinking about? Right, yesterday before I slept, I just started thinking about my life. You know, I thought about myself when I was a kid. I thought about myself when I was in secondary school. I thought about myself when I was in uni. And I thought about my life now. And I looked at, you know, when you see your life literally flash before your eyes, I looked at the trajectory of my life and I started asking myself questions like, is this the life I thought of living at this point in my life? Is this, am I, can I say that? i am enjoying my life you know enjoying the journey that i've had and enjoying where i am and it got me really really deep into thoughts and i started thinking about like 10 years from now 20 years from now 30 40 years from now if i'm still alive you know to be here what story am i going to say about myself what kind of life am i going to say that i lived and you know it just took me to this conclusion that we we have dreams you know when we're growing up we really have things that i, I mean at this point in my life if i tell you all the things i thought i thought i would be by now if i tell you all the goals and the dreams that i thought i would have fulfilled by now <laughs> it's enough to make me up late at night in stitches crying you know thinking that i've not achieved what i wanted to achieve with my life and because we live life on such a you know performative basis like when you after you do this after uni do this after secondary school move to uni after you do this after you this that that that, that. then when you become an adult it's like things are not moving with that same speed that you thought it would move and it makes you start to question yourself like am i achieving what am i doing in my life am i even doing anything you know why am i here blah 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 and I was having one of those moments yesterday and I came to the conclusion that 20 years from now, I will be in my 50s, 30 years from now, I'll be in my 60s, 70s. And then one day is going to all be over. You know, I know that the conversation of death in African society or I don't know, African society majorly is not something that is really received with, you know, open arms. Most people shy away from having that discussion. Oh, I don't want to think about it. No, you know, the rapture is going to happen. This is going to happen. We're not going to die. We're not going to, you know, we, we love to believe that life is never going to end. But the reality of things is that life is going to end. One day you're going to open your eyes and this you know existence as you know it is going to all be over you're not going to be able to fight with your siblings you're not going to be able to kiss your partner you're not going to be able to tell your mom you love her you know so i started thinking that if i view my life from that point of view that one day is going to all be over can i say that i am truly living to the fullest expression of the knowledge that one day i'm not going to be here anymore and i came to the conclusion that i'm not you know and i made a resolve that going forward i'm going to live my life with no holds barred because 
life is for the living we are alive for a reason we are here for a reason to live to love to express ourselves to the fullest of our beings but because most times we are so fixated on goals where we want to be what we want to achieve we get so caught up in that rat race that we forget that like this it could literally be over you know a lot of people have not lived to see 30 a lot of people have not lived to see 40 a lot of people have not lived to see 70 you know and it just makes you to look at the mortality of things or yes because when we're caught up in life we tend to forget that it's going to end you know so helping i think having this conversation on death helps us to see that we are mortals after all this existence is not a continuum that will just keep going and going and going and going it's going to end one day and i feel we shouldn't look at it from a pessimistic point of view like oh my god oh, hoo, hoo, boo, hoo, hoo. one day it's all going to be over no we should look at it as a celebration of existence life is a gift for the world that i am here now i am here to bless the world with my presence bless my friends my family my loved ones with all of my love and all of the beauty that i am as a person not to spend you know my days wallowing in sorrow thinking about what i want to be where i want to go yes i'm not saying it's important you know i don't get me wrong i'm not saying you shouldn't have goals it's important to have goals it's important to have aspirations those things you know drive us to do more so that you know you're not just sleeping on the couch all day every day waiting for the end to come you know this is not an apocalypse but then again have your goals have your plans but learn to look at things like it's going to end and that's what i told myself yesterday like okay yes i have my goals i have my plans but one day i'm not going to be here to have any goals and any plans anymore all that is going to be here left of me is a footprint in the hands of time that i have put in even if it is just the good love that i showed and i shared while i was here with my family my friends my loved ones and the people that i could touch from this special space you know and all of the people that i meet in my walk of life even if it's just blessing people with you know the essence of my character everything that i know that's enough for me to say that yes i have lived and i have lived well so i just want to put this out there and encourage every one of us to live like you are going to die yes i know that it might sound morbid i know that it might sound you know pessimistic but if you think about it deeply i think it should kind of give you like a fire it should, it should ignite a fire in your bones to know that every waking moment is a gift i'm here for a reason and i want to explore i want to express i want to tell my friends my family and the people that i care about that i love them i want people to feel good that i am here and including myself i want to make myself happy i want to feel like i came to this world and i enjoyed being here you know it's not an easy journey that that one i will tell you for free life can throw you curveballs that will mess you up completely but in spite of all of that for the fact that you are still here you are still alive is enough to be grateful is enough to recognize that you are living in a gift you are living in a purpose and this world the beauty of all that is this world is here for us to enjoy so i hope this video helps you in any way shape or form i hope you enjoyed watching it and i hope that you like and subscribe going forward on this channel i just want to use my content to share and spread love as much as i can with everything that i do i want people that watch my channel to learn something that makes them you know feel alive gives them joy makes them happy and you know i just want this space to be a safe space where you can come to and take something that makes you feel better about being here you know i want this channel to be as full of inspiration as possible i will still do my history videos mostly when i travel but for now i'm just going to concentrate on content that you know uplifts me sets my own soul on fire and makes i hope that the people that are behind the screen watching this would enjoy it as well and i wish all of us a beautiful life i wish that life is kind to you i wish that life gives you reasons to smile reasons to love and reasons to be grateful that you're here
thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye the Buddha said, the mistakes that you make is thinking that you have time. You don't have as much time as you think. It is so precious. It's the most precious resource that the human body has. It's the time, the breath associated with the time. Appreciate it. Pay close attention to it. Have reverence to it because it's a gift. Maximize it. Do what you love because at the end of the day, you won't be here forever. Believe it or not, the average statistic says that. At least one million people go to bed and never wake up. So just realize that do what you love. But don't be misguided by thinking that it's going to be easy. One must be organized in your thoughts and your actions and your direction in order to make your dreams a reality. For me, how I manage my time is I have that constant reminder. You don't have much, as much time as you think. Appreciate it. Uh, maximize it to the best of your ability and um, put things in place in order to make what it is that you wish to see your life blossom into happening.